it's our time with Mr. Mayberry. Hey, let's get creative. Happy Thanksgiving. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a turkey. So let's get started. It's time to make some art. Okay, before we start, let's do our paper exercise. Let's hold up your paper this direction and let's say together, this is the tall way, this is the wide way, this is the tall way, this is the wide way. Today I'd like you to have your paper the wide way when we draw. Okay, today I'm going to show you how to draw a turkey. First thing we're going to do is to draw a circle. And you, if you want to get one to trace, that's fine, but it'd probably be okay without it. Let's draw, it's about the size of a grapefruit or a softball, a little bit bigger than a baseball. So that's our first circle. Now I'm starting off kind of light because I'm going to change the things as we go and I may need to erase some. Okay, sitting on top of that is another circle. And it's probably just a little bit bigger than a golf ball. Okay, so that's for the head. Then let's go ahead and we're going to make um, where the feathers go. I'm going to start with a horizontal line, a, a wide way line that goes all the way behind this big circle. So I'm drawing it coming out on both sides. And then I'm going to make a curve that goes like a rainbow that goes up above the head. It's all the way up like this and then it curves down the other way. This is kind of the basic shape of our turkey. And the tail feathers and the body and the head. Okay, next I want to add some bumps all the way around this half circle. Okay, after you have that, we're going to make, turn this into tail feathers. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to start in between these bumps and then draw a line that goes all the way to the middle. So here I draw a line like that. Here this one might slant down just a little bit. I just keep going around the circle. They're all coming to the middle. That one stops when I get to the head. This one too. This one too. Now they're starting to slant in the other direction. The top they go straight down. And then this slants in the other direction. Okay, so that's the tail feathers. Now I want to make the turkey's neck. I'm going to start up here by the head. I'm going to make a line that curves down and around for the base of the neck, the bottom of the neck. And then it's going to curve back in and up to the head. Just like that. Okay, let's make the beak next. I'm going to go up here and make a triangle that sticks out to the left. And then I want to put a little gobbler thing that hangs off, a piece of skin that hangs off around the, the beak. I think I'll go ahead and erase inside of that. I am using pencil today. I forgot to mention you can use crayon if you'd like, uh, but I like to erase things as I go. Sometimes I make mistakes or I want to change things. So that's why I'm using a pencil today. Okay, next I want to make an eye. So there's a shape of the eye and then the inside. And you can have the turkey looking whichever direction, whichever way you want him to look. I'm going to put it here 
make it look like he's looking kind of at us or looking down actually he looks like he's looking down this direction but if you put the pupil over on the left side it look like he's looking left if you put it on the right it looks like he's looking right so I put it in the middle there at the bottom so it looks like he's looking down Okay, next I want to draw the wings and I'm going to make a curve here to the side that goes out past the circle and then curves back around and attaches to the circle. I want to do that on the other side also. Start right about here, curve out past the edge of the circle and then around and it attaches to the circle. Okay, I can erase inside of the wings, clean that up. When you erase lines you don't need, that's called cleaning up your drawing. There's a few lines here I don't need to. I could erase the line between the head and the neck, but I think I like to have that there. So I'm going to draw it a little bit darker. I was just cleaning up a little bit of that circle that was showing through there. So I want to make this darker now. And the body down here below, I'm going to make it darker now that that's where I want it to be. Clean up inside. Make it darker at the top where it, the body curves around. Okay, the last thing we're going to draw are the feet. I'm going to make like a W here. Go down, up, down, up. Actually, one more time. Just like that three V's that are side to side. Same thing on this other side. They've got three claws here in the front. And then I want to shade in where the end of the claw is. In the claw on the end of the foot. Okay. I think I need to darken this line going all the way around. Now we've drawn this in pencil, but you can go back and color it in. Use whatever colors you'd like. Um, turkeys, real turkeys are brown and they have other colors on them too, blue and red. If you get a chance to look at a picture of a turkey, you might include those feather colors too. And parts of the feathers are white as well. So you can, but you can color this turkey whatever colors you'd like to use. I'm just making the lines darker now that I have everything where I want it to be. Take your time, do a good job coloring. And this is our project for today, a turkey. Well, now that you know how to draw a turkey, if you'd like some art homework, teach someone else how to draw one. Thank you for coming to art class, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, Mr. Mayberry. Gobble, gobble.